What is PDF? Pioneering work by scientists such as Max von Laue in the early 20th century established that X-ray diffraction is based on atomic scale units with a perfectly spaced arrangement. When this nanometer sized unit is repeated over and over again, it becomes a grid exhibiting long range order. As we explore this long range order, we see the atomic scale components lie along perfectly spaced lines. In the real 3D world, this grid is called a crystal. A typical powder sample is made of a large number of crystals with random orientation. Each crystallite has a size of just a few microns. When this powder is analyzed by X-ray diffraction, we observe sharp intensity peaks at specific diffraction angles. These intensity peaks correspond to the perfect lattice plane spacings in the crystal. The explanation of this relation we owe to the Braggs. Often though, samples are not perfect. Rather than micron size grains, crystallite size can be in the nanometer range. Rather than perfect crystals, defects disrupt the perfect structure. This breaking of long range order leads to broadening and eventual loss of peaks entirely. Although long range order has disappeared, short range order is still present. X-ray scattering investigations of amorphous glasses and liquids was pioneered by Peter Debye, resulting in the 1936 Nobel Prize. To understand such X-ray data, we must consider the distance between individual atomic pairs. Starting at a central atom, we determine the number of neighboring atoms at increasing distance in all three dimensions. Close to the central atom, the probability of encountering another atom is low, while for a few radii, the probability is very high. As we sweep through the pair distances, a probability distribution called the pair distribution function, or PDF, is created, which is unique to this atomic arrangement. Theoretically, the probability pattern at small radii should have very distinct features, while at larger radii, the plot should level out. In practice, this is precisely what is observed. The pair distribution method can be applied to materials ranging from amorphous glasses to crystalline solids. To obtain good resolution in the sharp-featured, short radii region, measurements to the highest possible angle with the shortest wavelength are required. Consequently, PDF experiments are collected with high-energy tubes over a wide angular range. Both classical diffraction and PDF analysis result in a unique fingerprint of a material. For highly crystalline materials, the classic analyses including phase identification, quantification, and lattice parameter determination are applied while the analysis of the disordered materials require the PDF method. In real-world scenarios, it's not uncommon to encounter a sample with both crystalline and disordered phases, requiring both types of analysis. Having access to both is now possible with recent advances in instrumentation with easily changed components and detectors, supporting a wide range of energies. 